I'm sorry? Did you ask the government whether you are a target of their criminal investigation? I think the government's actions have made it clear what they believe. And I think the fact that if you look at, for example, the Microsoft documents, the original court subpoenas, uh, excuse me, the original subpoenas, the original search warrants, um, the original 2703D orders, they list a cavalcade of suspected crimes, about half of which they've since dropped. What do you think about the fact that a month after the special master assigned and said that we, are, we have journalistic privileges and First Amendment rights. What did, do you think about the fact that the feds went back to Microsoft and tried to gag them from telling anybody they issued secret warrants for my journalistic emails? What do you think about that? As I said, I'm open to the idea that some or all, maybe even including the raid of your home, has been serious investigative overreach. Um, but I can't really make that assessment without understanding. You can't it. make an assessment on whether the Fed's going to Microsoft and gagging them after after the Fed's raid my home. You can't make an ethical assessment as a journalist. What type of journalist are you? You committed a crime. Excuse me. You're not. If you committed a crime, we are not engaged in the same profession. Let's be very clear about that. I know. There, how, okay. So should the Fed start taking everyone's emails and just? I mean, what what? What, what justification does, do the feds have to go to Microsoft and gag them after they raid my home and take my journalistic privileged materials? To maintain the secrecy of an investigation to whether you committed a crime. I don't think it's that complicated. Well, the ACLU disagrees so with me. you. Yeah, and explain to me then if, if it's to maintain the secrecy of an investigation. The investigation is no longer secret. The gag orders have all been dissolved by a, a sitting magistrate judge in the, in the Southern District of New York. And yet the government still refuses at this point, even though there is no gag order over the place and there is no more secret about the investigation, to even disclose to Project Veritas that the, the vendors to whom they have actually sent such secret warrants and orders to allow us to go and protect our rights as we have successfully done with the special master. What's the justification for that? Look, I understand if you don't want to answer questions about how you- No, I just, I, just, I just want you to be, I just want you to behave like a journalist and not a former federal prosecutor. So at any point in which you're speaking to someone about moving documents or moving the objects or other materials that you thought were Ashley Biden's out of the apartment or at one point maybe even going back to facilitate retrieving more more belongings, you're potentially trafficking on the government's theory, I think, in stolen goods. That's the theory. I don't know if they've laid it out for you, I, but that's not a complicated theory to me. I'm not saying it's I'm not saying it's like a common theory because I don't think it is. It's a very unusual theory, um, but I think that's the theory. Are you? Is this? something that you're hearing for the first time? I mean, I think that the theory is seriously flawed, if that is the theory. This is bad faith. You don't, you don't care about the January 2020 fact? That doesn't outrage you? Seriously. You committed a crime, I gotta say, like... I no, gotta... no, no, wait, wait, the, wait, wait, if I committed a crime, what evidence do you have that a crime has been committed here? What evidence? The Times reporting? Wh which part? Which part? Which part about that? A Project Veritas operative asked the sources whether they could retrieve more items from the home that could help show that the diary belonged to Miss Biden. Even assume for the moment that what the New York Times printed is true, which, by the way, I would not assume. There's a reason they're being sued for defamation and we're winning that lawsuit. Even if you assume sure for the moment. Read that again. A Project Veritas operative asked the sources whether they could retrieve more items from the home that could help show that the diary belonged to Miss Biden. What evidence do we have, by the way? This is, is this true? again. Is that true? Are you a prosecutor or are you a journalist? The Reporters Committee, that's Wolf Blitzer and Andrea Mitchell, these are not right wingers. The Reporters Committee have asked, no, no, let me finish my point. I know you're laughing because you don't want that fact. You'd be a ballsy. You hate CNN. You'd... Why do you care what Wolf Blitzer thinks? Excuse me? I don't care. You Excuse don't care me? what Wolf Blitzer thinks. Why, why, are you, why, are you, why are you assigning motive to me right now? Why are you putting words in my mouth? The Reporters Committee has filed, an affid has filed a motion before this judge to unseal the affidavits. 
and they need to unseal the affidavit so we can see what 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 possible what lies prompted them to do this. There's no evidence of any crimes here. We're protected by Bartnicki v. Vopper, as Jared said. And as a fellow journalist, you and I are supposed to be on the same team, you know, speaking truth. Oh, I'd like to see the search warrant affidavit. So would I, because we're going to actually uh, see... We, you we, actually are the first person who should want to see them. I don't blame you. If I, if I were you, I'd want to see them too. When the New York Times takes the Pentagon Papers from Washington, D.C. and transports them to New York, did they violate federal law? I want to know about you. I don't want to debate the Pentagon. No, no you, this is a very fundamental issue because, again, you have said if we, are, if we committed a crime, we're not journalists. If we can't agree on this very fundamental thing, then it doesn't matter any of the facts in your opinion. You've already made the conclusion that, well, they may have committed a crime, therefore they're not journalists, therefore they're not you know, engaged in anything here. When Bartnicki expressly says, forgive me, you're flat out wrong. In Bartnicki, the journalist in that case under your analysis, shouldn't have been considered journalist. Guess what? Even Ruth Bader Ginsburg disagrees with you. Yeah, I don't know how many times I can the say ACLU that disagrees. Did not involve the situation where the journalist participated in the theft. So nor my, does this situation. Nor does this situation. We didn't participate in any theft. Period. And you're going to okay, keep so asking me that same. You're going to keep asking me the same question. There are, no, no, answer my question. Excuse me, I am asking your question. Operative. Ask those sources to go back into the home to retrieve more items. Yes or no? My point to you is. You don't want to answer what? that. Okay, that suggests to me that it happened. I got to be honest with you. That does probably you can suggest whatever you want. You can you can go ahead and make shit up. Is. Go ahead and make shit up, and I'll sue you like all the other people I've sued. We get past motion to dismiss and a defamation lawsuit against the New York Times. You're engaging in tautological arguments here. Jared just point, and you just you just rushed past that. It matters. I answered him. It does not govern a situation where the journalist participated in the theft of the information. I don't know many, how many times I have to repeat this for you, but like your characterization of the case is not accurate. How how, how is Jared's characterization of the case not accurate? Art Nikki does not govern when the journalist participated in the theft of the information. Mm -hmm. So again, I come back to a question that you are, I, I presume you're going to refuse to answer again, which is whether a Project, operative Ver, a Project Veritas operative asked the sources if they could retrieve more items from the home that Ashley Biden was staying in. Yes or no? And again, I point out to you two things. I, I'm not interested in... in what, I know you're not interested. I know you're not saying. interested in the First Amendment. So I know you're not interested in the gag system. orders. You don't interested in the reporters' committee. You, you bring up, matter. you bring, and by the way, you, you're, you're interested. You're, you're bringing up like Wolf Blitzer's politics. When I'm talking about principles, like you're showing yourself for who you are, my friend. Okay, you're great. showing yourself. Have you read the DNC versus Russian Federation case? It's based on Bart Nicky. It's out of the Southern District of New York. Have you read that case? I want to give you an opportunity. I'm not here to talk. Have you read the case? Well, have you read the case? You're telling me. You're telling me. I'm not that, here to that talk to you. Okay. Here's my very respectful suggestion, because I don't think this is going in a. I don't think you like. I don't think, think you, you like the answers the you're getting. I don't think you're not you... answering my question, so I, I, I'm just You gonna... won't even agree to the very basic fundamental truth that this is a story about what the government is doing against journalists. Sure and you keep focusing on, but if you committed a crime, if you committed a crime, with no evidence that a crime has been committed by anybody, even anywhere, even assume for the moment that what the New York Times printed is true, which, by the way, I would not assume. There's a reason they're being sued for defamation and we're winning that lawsuit. I you to tell if you assume for the moment, Hold on. Even if you assume for a moment that that is, in fact, a true thing. If you read DNC versus Russian Federation, you will see that, in fact, your statement, your characterization of Bart Nicky Bury Bebopper is, in fact, wrong. That so, quote, unquote, played no part doesn't mean that we just sit back and watch. Okay. Right? The, the government, for example, when, Bar no, when the Pentagon Papers happened, when the Pentagon Papers happened, the government never charged the New York Times with the, with the cause of action. And in fact, when the government tried to do something, the New York Times won in the U.S. Supreme Court. Why? Because as Bart Nicky realizes, as DNC versus Russian Federation realizes, journalism matters. 
things that would otherwise be considered a crime, such as receipt of stolen property, such as transportation of stolen property across state lines. The New York Times was never charged or investigated with those things. You should be asking yourself, why Project Veritas now? So, since you're not going to answer any of my factual questions, I'm just going to say it, suggest that we, you know, politely, you know, end the call. I appreciate your time sincerely. Um, yours as well, Jared, and thank you, RC, for setting this up. Um, and I do sincerely wish you the best of luck in your um, legal challenges and, and the proceedings. Um, but I think we've sort of hit an impasse here.